Hello, glorious urban canal, creek, drainage system, fountain thing. How the hell are you today? I've lived here my whole life and I've driven over the road right behind me multiple thousands of times and I've never, ever fish down here and there's fish absolutely everywhere this is the first time I've ever walked down here I've been wanting to fish here my entire life for some stupid reason and uh, yeah this one's for the child and me hope you enjoy hope we can catch something this might be a two-day venture because tonight it's supposed to rain like three or four inches and more fish will get pushed in but this was just kind of a scouting mission so let's see what lives here and stuff what is going on you dirty old stash bums it is me and I am uh, in the middle of downtown where I live I'm not gonna say where but a lot of people already know where I live, but yeah, I'm in the middle of downtown where I live and uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can catch some fish. It's kind of the most urban area to fish in the uh, in the entire city that I live in and probably the most urban area that I've ever fished in my whole life. And I walked down here just to look, it looked kind of stagnant. I was like, ah, I guess I'll have to come back tomorrow, but it's actually a lot of fish moving around and some of them seem pretty big. So we're going to try to catch them. Got corn, got night crawlers. I got a popper just in case I see uh, some sort of predator that might eat a popper and uh, yeah. We're gonna just do some walking. I was planning on walking like three miles down that way and having Boo pick me up, but I think I'm just gonna concentrate on this pool because everywhere else is kind of dried up. So this pool is where we're gonna fish today. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna come back after the rain and see what it looks like and see what got pushed in and see if we can find something else down that way. The big creek that I always fish is down that way. I was planning on fishing until there, but it's basically dry ground on the way there. So we're not doing that today, but see what we can get today. See what we can get tomorrow. Come along with me. Let's. Uh, do this for the child and me. I am a man child, but there's an even littler child that I'm doing this for that's inside of, this is getting weird, okay, bye. Alrighty, enough of that weird stuff. Let's get going. I'm only gonna give it like an hour just cause this is the only pool that has water in it. But there was some like two or three pound fish. So yeah, that was better than I expected. Couldn't really tell it to where the water's dirty and it actually kind of smells bad, but. We're gonna start with corn in the hopes that we can catch a carp. It looks like there's some bluegills and bass maybe swimming around too or something like that. And I'd imagine there's probably some garfish. But uh, Schmedium homie Nathan has also caught some like wipers and white bass. Um, not in this exact spot, but in this system of water thing. For now, let's see if we can do something. It's gonna kind of have to be stealthy, real shallow, not a lot of water. And basically I just hope that I don't get picked to shreds by tiny fish. That one wasn't very big, but something's got it, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because I don't think it's very big. Yeah, that wasn't what we were after. That was a blue gale of sorts, I would imagine. There's actually more game fish, like bluegills and bass than I expected. There's also a lot more crappy moss than I expected. How are these fish even living in this thing? That was a bigger fish, see that swirl? That's what we want right there. That was a few pounds. Didn't see what it was, but definitely wasn't no two inch bluegill. Is that fishing line right there? Well, it looks like someone was fishing with some like 20 pound braid or something. Seems like a little bit of an overkill, but I guess our 10 pound braid's probably kind of an overkill too. All right, I'm gonna throw that out there, let it sit on the bottom for a second and see if we don't get picked up by something sizable. Come on, carp, do it for little Timmy stash. Little tiny baby me wants a carp. I actually could never really figure out how to catch carp when I was a kid. They always seemed to uh, bamboozle me. I would always snag them accidentally and I thought that was cool enough. But I also never fished with corn, so that's probably part of the issue. Mm. Got one. Got one. <clears throat> got one. <laughs> that took a long time, but I got one. That dude up on the bridge is probably like, <laughs> what in the world is this guy doing? Catching carp out of a damn urban puddle. That's what I'm doing. Pull them away from the others. Actually, they're just kind of everywhere. I'm very eager to see what this place looks like tomorrow. Seriously, supposed to get like... <clears throat> I don't know. They're saying maybe five inches of rain, so could be pretty intense, but yeah. Carp bud. Not the biggest carp I've ever caught, but definitely the most meaningful carp I've ever caught for my childhood self. Yeah, I know, not the best handling. Get him unhooked, get him back. Alrighty, urban little puddle carp bud. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. What the hell does c'est la vie even mean? Kind of concerned even putting my hand in this water, but yeah. 
carp bud and stuff. All right, well, if we can already catch a fish that's a pound or two, yeah, probably closer to a pound. Out of this nasty dirt-ridden puddle that's stagnant right now, pretty eager to see uh, what we can catch out of it when there's actually some moving, flowing water. It didn't take too long, but sight fishing for carp, or when you know they're there, I think you should be catching one every like three seconds, and sometimes you don't. Let's see how long have we been here? 21 minutes. 21 minutes to catch one of them stinky carp boys. And I'm serious, this dude up on the bridge is probably like, what the hell is this kid doing? Saw some fishing lines, so I'm assuming some people fish down here, but uh, I'm sure it's not common. Probably just more people here feeding the ducks and stuff. All right, well, we'll try to catch like a carp or two, maybe just one more. And then I'm gonna go home, get well rested, and I one just had it again. That one seemed bigger. Somehow I caught a scale of it, but that is bigger of a scale than the one that I just caught. What was I even saying? Oh yeah, catch one or two more carp, go home, get well rested for tomorrow morning. It's supposed to stop raining at like 6 a.m. So I plan on coming down here around then and then spending a few hours just walking down, walking down the poopy canal boy. See how many species we can get. But for now we're gonna catch carp while this uh, dude driving by on his bike stares at us like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm pretty sure that's a dead mouse. I'm not sure. But there's definitely something dead floating in it, and it definitely smells like there's something dead floating in it. I would stand up and look, but I don't want to scare the carp buds. Actually, screw the carp buds. Let's try to figure out what's going on. Wouldn't that be hilarious if my $400 fishing combo gets pulled in this shithole? I have to go swimming for it. You guys see that? Pretty sure it's a mouse. Pretty sure something's got the corn again. <laughs> <laughs> Carp fish! <laughs> yeah, right by the dead mouse. And it about stole my pole. Come on guys, this is fun, you know? Childhood self and things. I know it's just carp, and there's some of the smaller carp that I've caught, but I mean, this, this is definitely, definitely a unique spot, and somehow, even though I hooked this guy in the lip, he's bleeding profusely. So we're not gonna get fancy camera stuff going here. We're gonna get our nasty little boyfriend back. Do you see that though? He's hooking the lip. Why was he bleeding so bad? I mean, that was a pretty big blow up for a fish out of a spot like this. That dude coming by on his bike was like, uh, what? Maybe I should tie on the popper and throw it around. I can confirm I did see one bass fish. It just wasn't very big. And personally, I know I'm a little strange, but I would rather catch carp than bass fish. And this dude's walking by like, why the hell is this guy talking to himself? It's a long story, man. But that's another one. <laughs> There's fish in there. <laughs> 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 What's that? Uh, carp. Yep. Not a bad one. Y yeah? They must be swallowing it because it's weightless because this one's bleeding too. I don't think it's bad, but once you got, once I got them fired up, they started going. Got them going. This is the biggest one for sure. <clears throat> Oh, this water is so warm and gross. This is one time I kind of wish I had a net. Just so I don't have to touch the water. Cart bud number three. What's that? It wasn't bad. Pretty good one. It's kind of stinky. Smells like sewage. <laughs> have a good one, man. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know me. I ain't gonna leave a good carp bite. Especially when I got weird random spectators. That always adds to the fun, doesn't it? Took forever, but once I switched to weightless and uh, moved down here, it's like every time it hits the bottom. So let's get it back out on the bottom. How many are in here? Poor miserable souls. Dead mouse is still there, hasn't even moved. Hasn't even moved. 
I'd put the split shot back on so I could tell if I was getting a bite a little sooner so I don't make them bleed, but so much muck and trash and probably legitimately some shit on the bottom that uh, with the weight on it just kind of sinks down there and they weren't really finding it. I think one was thinking about it there. I reeled up my slack line and he dipped. You're like, corn ain't supposed to move. No, sir, carp, corn ain't supposed to move. But you aren't supposed to survive in a little shithole like this either and here we are. Here we are. You guys got a little dirty on that one. Let's give you a little bath. Get back to ripping and stuff. Mm. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Carpy number four. I mean, come on. Childhood selfs and shit. There's no way I'm not getting absolutely soaked with shit water on this one. I can tell you that. Gross. I didn't get soaked with shit water. And I didn't lose my hook either. All right, I'm gonna doink around with these for just a little bit longer. Do like a montage of me wrecking some carp and then I'll be back tomorrow for uh, part two or still the same video i'm not going to split it up in two videos but part two of this uh, childhood dream mission yeah see you there so pal bye <clears throat> one more and then i'm facetiming my buddy charlie when i hook one because he called me an idiot for trying this he might be right but i'm gonna facetime him Charlie's a good, not so smart buddy from from way back. You've never seen Charlie. <laughs> FaceTime Chuck. Hopefully he answers. If he doesn't, we're not friends anymore. Charlie! Oh, you're Peg! <laughs> you dialed the wrong number! No, I didn't. This is your son's number. <laughs> Oh, Dad, stop calling me. Hey, Charlie, look look where I'm at. Are you shitting me? Yeah, I got a pretty big fish. <laughs> yeah. Are you shitting me? Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, my God. Look at it, Charlie. You said I was dumb. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I know, it's pretty cool, huh? It's a carp. It, it's, 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 it's a carp fish. Yeah, that's all right. That's like number seven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're gonna be on a video. Say hi, Charlie. Hi. How are you? Oh wait, you're a child. I have to ask your permission. Do you want to be on a video? <laughs> Thanks, bud. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll be over in like 15. Okay, bye. Yeah, I might. Peace. That's Charlie's. He's okay. All right, I'm gonna release this bud for real. This has gone on long enough, but this was fun. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the morning and stuff. I got a big one. <sighs> I guess I can show it to you. Not that you haven't seen a cart before, but apparently Charlie hadn't. <laughs> Greasy old sunset cart, bud. Let's let him go. Even though he's invasive, he ain't causing any harm here. They definitely made my day. Hopefully something else can make my morning and stuff. Got one. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Am I recording? Nice. Oh, bud, 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 I'm an idiot. I should have fished here sooner. All right, so little update. I spent four hours going down the freaking canal. Nothing really happened. Got a couple little bites, but that was about it. And um, yeah, look at this bud. Oh. 
I, re I, re I really I really wanted it not to be a boner fide tiny carp fest but that's kind of just that's just kind of how it worked out but this fish is actually pretty incredible I really hope he didn't swallow it I'm doing weightless corn again so I don't want him to die because they're not I mean carp are invasive and blah 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 and people say I should kill them but they're not doing any harm right here I can tell you that for sure and uh I would definitely never kill one of these guys I can't believe there's one of these in here. This is ridiculous. Let me get my pliers ready. I'm gonna be quick with him and try not to bang him around. Um, but yeah, how many hours did I say? I don't know, but legitimately it was probably more like four or five. I don't even know what time it is. It, uh, yeah, it was pretty much a waste of time. Where does Bud have the hook? I think Bud swallowed the hook. Nope, we should be able to get it. This dude's looking out. It ain't bad. <laughs> No, it's a carp. Yeah. Little mirror, bud. Look at that dude. That dude is pretty. Don't flop. Don't flop. I'm gonna set him on the rocks for just a second. I wanna get the hooks out of him. Or hook out of him. He's barely hooked. Probably shouldn't have doinked around with him so much, but there he is. I don't know the difference between mirror carps, but that is my second mirror carp of my entire life out of this super urban little spillway canal thing. I really want a big camera him so you can see him better, but I mean, in the end, he's just a carp. But look at his red tail and look at his scales. That is neat. I was feeling defeated, not gonna lie. But now, for some weird reason, I feel super accomplished and stuff. Alrighty, well, I wish I would have looked at Google Maps sooner because right over there is where we started and we ended up about two miles that way for most of the day. But I didn't realize there was a uh, bigger pool down here and uh, yeah, I'm an idiot, but you all know that. Alrighty, well, the uh, Urban Creek mission went from high to low to, to really high again. I know some people are like, oh, is this a mirror carp? I catch him all the time. Well, I don't. It's my second mirror carp ever. He wasn't very big, but he was a cool one. He wasn't the fully scaled one, but he was like a half scaled mirror koi fish looking thing and pretty cool spot to catch it out of. I've always wanted to do this, like I said, ever since I was a little kid. And if you hate it because it was a carp fest, then whatever, I don't care. Little old me enjoyed it. And I am uh, pretty stoked to have caught what I caught yesterday. And uh, today sucked, but that was pretty cool. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Probably won't be back, but I was thinking maybe this would be a good place to actually try my fly rod again. You guys have been asking for it. There's less current and might be doable even for my dumb ass. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. See you later and stuff and things. Papow, mirror, carp, bye.